Good morning, Mr. Bubba. How's your food? Good morning. So I have my little espresso. We're out of coffee right now, so espresso it is. Today's gonna be the first day that I am non-revving since I have been furloughed. Now you might ask, Kat, where are you going and why? I am going to New Orleans, Louisiana. I actually used to live in Louisiana for a bit. I think it was about a year. I worked on Bourbon Street. I was a bartender, so that's what I did before I was a flight attendant. So I'm going back to my roots, back to my stomping ground. <laughs> we are actually gonna be going on a flight attendant trip. But no, no, obviously not mine because I'm furloughed. But we are gonna be crashing Miss Wonderfully Allie's flight attendant layover. She has a 31 hour layover in New Orleans. Now, I don't know how COVID is gonna impact anything, what's open, what's not, but either way, it's gonna be a damn good time. Oh, look at him. Fat and sassy and already headed out barking. <laughs> I'm sure my neighbors are loving that. <laughs> so I started getting ready. I'm just kind of waiting for my hair to dry. I'm just air drying it as I'm trying to get my curls back. But I'm actually gonna start packing. Okay, so I'm actually gonna end up bringing this bag. I'm also doing a giveaway with one of these bags. So I'll link the video down below that y'all can go check out to see how to win yourself a really, really nice travel bag. Now on the other hand over here with my suitcase, I've been using my stow and go, which is like a hanging closet. But because I'm actually going to Allie's hotel and it's her hotel room, I'm actually not gonna bring this. I'm just gonna bring traditional packing cubes and call it a day. I looked up the weather on my phone and it looked like it was gonna be pretty good. I think it said like 70s to 80s. So I'm just gonna pack according to that and let's cross our fingers that it stays like that. <laughs> I got my suitcase empty out and one of the things I didn't even think about is liquids. I am no longer a flight attendant and I have to separate out my liquids. So I'm glad I caught that pretty early. I had this packed from Portland and I'm not gonna be using it. It's the bag that I basically <laughs> went to the thrift store and got. So I figure let's go out, get some fresh air. Let's go to a thrift store, see if I can find a bag to bring with me before we go to downtown Portland. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. These are so cool. These are actually like where I store a lot of my handbags. I'll actually link these down below. I got them off Amazon and they are like the best organizers ever. I really do just organize like all of my bags in there. So they're super convenient. So I'll link those down below for anyone interested. Okay, so I changed my mind. I actually am gonna bring this little purse that I thrifted. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so we are all packed up. Our bags are stowed. Also, before we get to the airport, oh, that is blowing in my eyes. Before we get to the airport, I guess I should tell y'all, um, this flight is now oversold by 10 people, and I'm number two on the non-rev list. So that means that we have 12, or 11 people in front of us, so we're number 12, and there's only six open seats. <laughs> And the flight after this is no better. This is about to be fun. Let's pray to the non-rev gods we get there. <laughs> we just got to the Dallas airport. I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff out. Okay, so I have my stuff together, have my mask in my pocket. Now we're gonna head inside. It's gonna be like super weird this time, like not doing a temperature screening and all that stuff. I don't know how to not be a flight attendant, you know what I mean? Hopefully, okay, the liquids come out. I gotta remember all the details. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. So I stopped at the 7-Eleven that's right here and I ended up getting a monster. I got some beef jerky and a protein bar because I haven't eaten at all today. It's two right now, so I guess we're gonna wait and see if we can get onto the flight. Okay, so they just started boarding. I'm messaging with Allie back and forth and we've been laughing because this flight was oversold by 13 and I'm number two on the standby list. It keeps changing. I'm number six now and there's five open seats, so I need one person to miss to get on this flight. We're really cutting it close here. <laughs> We landed 
landed in New Orleans last minute. They were like, called me down. They told me they didn't have a seat, but they called me down just to see. And then they did have a seat and I got onto the flight. That's why there's like no real footage. So I am here, I'm waiting on Allie. She texted me saying she just landed. Um, I picked up my luggage. So we're just gonna wait around for her. And then I might be able to take their shuttle or I might have to take an Uber over to their hotel. Okay, I see a whole mess of people over there that I think I'm waiting on. <laughs> <laughs> right, hello everybody. Allie didn't let me do a nice room thing before she came and wrecked it. <laughs> so here's Allie's wonderful view. Woo wee! Look out, you can't take your eyes off it. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is actually where I used to work. So crazy, they're like completely shut down. That's actually like one of the biggest bars on bourbon other than like razzoos and stuff and it's closed like the whole street is pretty dead how is it <laughs> good i don't hate it oh we did vodka sprite ellie got a blue moon she's doing a margarita on is the rocks and then i got a margarita <laughs> Okay, so I ended up doing crab cakes and crawfish etouffee. We just finished up at the restaurant, so we are actually walking to Pat O'Brien's, which is like a piano bar. Not sure if it's gonna be open, but I guess we're going to find out. The street is a little busier, but still dead. <laughs> okay, so Pat O'Brien's is completely closed. Okay, so Bourbon Street was crazy. It was so dead. I've never seen it like that before. I really haven't, so it's kind of wild, but it was still a good night. It was. It get, really out of was. My, get out of my shot. <laughs> okay, so it was really do nice. Do, there's no do-overs in this. This is it. We're one-shot wonder. Oh, I'm so <laughs> I thought that was a thumbnail picture. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, so much. <laughs> Good morning, so um, a fire alarm went off. Yeah, didn't know whether to evacuate or not, so hopefully it's not real, because once it stopped, we all just went back to bed. Ouch. <laughs> and it's the most piercing sound. She's clearly up and doing lively things with her life right now. So <laughs> no alarm will get me out of here. Catch me inside, how about that? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna look a mess today. I didn't bring makeup wipes, so I did my best to get it off, and yeah. But I'm also wearing the same sweatpants I wore yesterday during the day just because they're the most comfy thing I brought. Please just don't judge me, but we're about to head to the French Quarter. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading to the French Quarter. I think we've got about three hours or so to eat and hang out before I gotta get back. So let's go make the best of the three hours. <laughs> All this weather is literally perfect. It is perfect. There's like a light breeze. It's not very humid. The water is so pretty. So we're gonna kind of just take a little stroll really fast and see like what's open and then find something to eat and just like really enjoy it and soak it all in before I have to go. Uh, it feels like this was my layover, really it does. So this is usually like the art district area where they'll have like art and painting and stuff but I don't really see very many people. I mean there's a couple in here but there's usually this whole thing is just filled. Okay, so we just came to this restaurant called French Toast and it is super cute in here. These two peer pressured me into it. She got a double mimosa and then she got a double mimosa and then he said, so is it two or three? I was on the spot, so. And I said three. Yeah, it's three. So we just ordered food and now we have double mimosas coming. The coffee is excellent. So yeah, I guess we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> So I ended up deciding it's the prosciutto, honey, and herbed ricotta, and it looks so freaking good. And then they both got king cake French toast. They said it's a restaurant specialty, and it looks good. It looks very New Orleans. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I'm here for the fall. It's completely closed in here. This is like something I really love to do. I love to just come and like shop in the markets and like look at everything. It's, I have never seen New Orleans really taking a hit. Even our Uber driver said like, people are holding on by a thread here. It's 
crazy. This makes me so sad, y'all. Okay, so this would all be like booths all set up over here, like not really any empty space other than to walk and it's just a dead zone. Okay, I will say though, no shade, no tea, but it does smell a bit better in New Orleans. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are familiar with that traditional swampy New Orleans smell that's not just swamp water. I think we all know a little bit of what that is. It doesn't smell like that here. I've never smelled so pleasant. <laughs> okay, so my two degenerate friends over here are both getting froses. I opted not to have one just because we have a flight to catch not too far away. So I don't want to be too gone girl. You know what I mean? This was like a 40 hour. I thought it was 30, but it was a 40 hour layover for them. So they're going to be here a whole nother night. Okay, so I just hit three o'clock. So we just ordered an Uber to go back to the hotel so I can get my stuff and go to the airport. We have to go back to reality. <laughs> We are back in the good old hotel hotel. I don't know why I said it like that, but I have all of my stuff ready to go. We are packed and loaded and I told Allie and Chelsea they're not allowed to do anything after I leave. They just have to go to bed, eat the food they brought, and that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to get extreme FOMO. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pack everything up and the Uber's going to be here in just a couple minutes. <laughs> So it looks like security is down that way, so we're gonna hopefully get through pretty quickly. I am doing good at this. Like, I feel like I'm like now a liquid professional, laptop taker out, shoes off. I'm doing good, I'm thriving. So got my stuff and we are going to, I think, be 15, maybe, hopefully. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. Dallas Airport. So we're pretty much gonna have to find the vehicle. I forgot to take a picture of where I parked. So this is about to be cute. But in other news, I'm starving to death. Um, all I've had so far is that prosciutto toast thing. So my husband said he actually made spaghetti. There's plenty for me. So I have a warm cooked meal when I get home. All right. Ooh, baby girl needs a bath. I also forgot to tell y'all that I actually found out I don't have to turn in my stuff until the 31st. We get to pretend we're a flight attendant for a wee bit longer. And yeah, I guess on that note, let's go home. <laughs> Is that a bubba? Hi, bubba. Okay, bye. <laughs> so here's the pasta my husband made. Looks yummy. So we're about to make a big old bowl because I'm starving. I am all stuffed. That was so much pasta. I actually need to catch up on my German lessons. So if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, I have been learning German um, and I've been taking it very, very seriously. And I'm actually behind on lessons now that I went and did that. So I'm going to be playing catch up. And on that note, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Press that subscribe button, leave me a comment. I will see you guys next time. Bye.